I said it was about six, seven lap, uh, six, seven truck lane gap, and uh, Kyle Hart's winning away at that. But here's the thing: you can't just drag race up on a guy. You just, it doesn't. You don't have the advantage of doing that. You almost like NASCAR. You, you don't draft. You, you got to make a run at the leader to, to attempt to pass. They generally, don't play follow the leader. That's why you'll see them take multiple lives, unless that is absolutely the fastest line. It's hard to make the pass when you're following in the guy's track. Only a few more laps to go. Four laps to go as they cross the green flag. One more time to define everything is all right. Looks like one driver pulling off into the hot pit. Looks like Eric Hunter out of Emmett, California, going into the hot pit. And we've got another driver in the infield also. I'm not sure if that's Cam Rymers. And Kyle Hart now getting some heat from C.J. Greaves. Could this be that time where CJ starting to amp it up? Now keep in mind, this kid's going to throw down a monster real quick after this race and jump in a throw two coming up right away next. So the kid's giving it all, not just in this race, but he's got to like do it all over again in a 900 horsepower race truck. Oh, and you see him right there catching a little bit of an edge and then, you know, catching roofs, but also a little bit of edge. It looks like we have the yellow flag out down the front straightaway. A and truck over on its side. On its side. Into turn one. It's a red and white and black truck it looks like so it's hard to tell for a vantage point who uh -oh. it might be so full course yellow this is not a competition uh -oh, yellow but wow. it's going to tighten the field and absolutely no question Jared Brooks is the fastest driver but you just tightened up the field extremely and is that Joy Sylvester I believe it is is that number number 8 I think I want to say it I'm 9 right. maybe Bobby Runyon it might be Bobby Runyon looking trying to find be an eight or nine, we can't tell from our vantage point. But I just, I just saw something. That I'm not sure. As they came across the yellow, C.J. Greaves had the advantage over Kyle Hart, but did he make the, the pass? So it is Runyon. It looks like he's down on his, on his side. Okay, so it looks like uh, Kyle Hart retook second place as C.J. Crossed the line in front of him, but probably didn't make the pass before the yellow came out. And do they do it that way, or do they go back? to the, the previous, previous lap, lap yeah. yeah. They go back to the last completed lap as far as scoring goes once that yellow comes out. So it's Jared Brooks running up front, Kyle Hart in second, C.J. Grease, Bradley Morris, Brad Lovell, Keegan Kincaid. Brad Lovell's gotten in front of Keegan Kincaid. Run. And if, if passes were made after the yellow, they've got to line them up. Who does that generally, or where does that decision be made, or is it called, hey, the number eight, get behind the number six? Is that all done via radio, or is there somebody out there pointing like, hey, you need to get behind? It's all done via radio. They're, they got spotters radio. Actually, there's two radios in these trucks. One is for their spotter, so they can talk to our driver and back and forth. Also, then there's one where they, um, it's a hear-only radio. They listen to, to a uh, USAC official. So the USAC official tells each driver where they belong on, on a yellow lap or wherever it may be. So um, they actually have two radios. One is listen-only, and they are told what to do by a USAC official. And one is for the spotters. So uh, um, as we get ready to go to green, yeah, it's uh, there's just so much going on around here. And, 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 and the fans actually could go out there. I can't remember the, what is the radio B. The, the, what's the one? The transmitter people down there. You can actually get the transmitter signals from the drivers. You can hear the calls from the spotters out there. If you want to in the stands, you just rent a radio or buy a radio. And you can listen to listen the radio only, calls. Yeah, get their frequency. Yeah, I, I do that. Uh, I have the same unit for my kids uh, in go-kart racing. So here we go once again, just a few laps remaining. Our pace truck is off the track. It's Jared Brooks, Kyle Hart, CJ Grease. Four to go. Four to go at the flag. And they are bumper by. And look at the accordion effect. They, they have are to say single it. file. Single file, they can't pull out a line. All the way across the jump. And they do it the right way. Here they turn number one. Who's it going to be? Jared Brooks, Kyle Hart, still one and two. CJ, oh, CJ. Yeah. He's got a good run on this inside. Let's see if he can stay on it a little longer and break a little harder. Oh, yeah. Nice move by Kyle Hart. Turns in before he got to the corner. Took the line away from CJ Greaves. And King and Kincaid slow. And Brad, look at that. Look almost like they're hook bumpers with King and Kincaid in. Duck the tag. But it was going around the outside of that corner. It was Brad. Lovell that moved up into the top five. Lovell is uh, on the fourth place position now, actually dropping back just a little bit. But he's got rocket boosters on. I think Jared Brooks does. He is. Yeah, he's he is got a post tech, and we all look for a nitrous tank or something. Oh, there goes Greaves on the inside. Can he hold on? One? It's a slide job. Look out, Kyle Hart hangs on. That was the case. Of Reeves looked like he just was being very kind. He did not want to go low to high and kept holding that low line. Mm -hmm. There we go again. They're rubbing fenders. 
His dad will probably say, hey, you probably should have taken it a little bit wider on him. Well, look out. Oh, here comes Kyle Hart swapping sides. Billy's forced to go to the outside. Bradley Morris gets a little love tap from Keegan Kincaid back there as well in the track says seven. Lovell's dropping back. He's trying to go from about eighth into the seventh spot. And he was just fifth a moment ago, so Brad Lovell must something happened with him. But Brad Morris goes over oh. rotate, slams to the side of Keegan Kincaid. So next time around, two laps to go. And look at Jared Brooks. Wow! the Jared Brooks show, but watch that race for a second. That's the one to watch for, ladies and gentlemen. It seems like they go back and forth. The 41 of Kyle Hart faster in certain sections. CJ Green's faster in other sections. That's for the podium. Who's going to finish second? Who's going to finish third? CJ, a different line this time. You saw Hart with a little bobble. Now CJ's on the outside. Bradley Morris just ducked the inside for a second as we go forward. Here comes CJ Green's the outside. Hart's going to take that inside. It's where he wanted earlier, but now that pushes Greaves to the outside. He's going to have to hit the bigger jump, but he's going to be set up on the outside or inside of that left-hand turn. And C.J. Greaves has tried every line, inside, outside, down the middle, trying to find a way around Kyle Hart. Nope. And not able to pull it off. But no contact, too. A great slide jump trying to get inside. It looks like one on its side in the right-hand horseshoe. And the yellow on. comes out. We have got full course yellow one more time. Oh, man, and I got two laps to go on my board. It was about to be the white flag the next time around. And so it looked like Jesse Johnson may have been involved. Because there's a lot of damage on his truck as it goes by. And then once again, at the angle that we're sitting at, we can't quite tell who that is on the side. On the infield right-hand turn. Wow. Young 16-year-old out here his Go first time. Round. All right, he, he pulled here up. we go. Jared Brooks has been his race the entire time. He's been the class of the field. Let's watch how they start. They have to hold single file line until they exit after the first jump. Two laps remaining this time by as they take the green flag. Jared Brooks... Kyle Hart and C.J. Greaves heading into turn one. C.J. on that far outside. He better get a good drive. It looks like the 77 of Brooks going to check out again. Man, he is so fast today. And look at this. They're three wide, four mm. wide into turn number three. C.J.'s having a hard time getting that thing rotated. Now he's set up on an inside smoother line. But the seven has a good drive on the outside. Keegan Kincaid. But it looks like C.J. able to hold on to third. Once again, Jared Brooks pulls away. That's about a four, maybe five car length lead. And I love what Kyle Hart's doing. That Kyle's nice. trying a different line. You're not going to gain on the guy if you're, running, if you're following him. So you got to try something different. That right there, that Hold corner prior, did not work. Left. So you got to try something else. And so take the white flag this time by. Good drive in the cushion, as you mentioned. It's still our top three. Almost nose to tail. Trying to stick a wheel in there as Keegan Kincaid. White flag is out and waving. As they cross the line, a little bit further back, John Morris trying to go to the inside, move up a couple of spots. And here's our leader, Jared Brooks, all by himself. And we got truck, another truck on that side. Is that Sean Morris? Morris was just working his way forward and now finds himself on his side in turn number one. And we still don't have a yellow flag. Side by for side. turn one. For third place, side by side, the seven and the 33. But this is definitely Jared Brooks' race. And there's a battle. How about this? C.J. Grace holding up. Kincaid runs him onto the wall. And going all the way. It's been Jared Brooks from the beginning. The kid's been fast. I said he wouldn't finish the race with the body panel on. And am I wrong? Every single one's in place. Jared Brooks! And the Synergy Electric Entry will take the win. Kyle Hart second. C.J. Greaves, King and Kincaid. Alright. Kyle the held line. on for second. And the reason wow. he had all his body panels up because nobody could touch him. Was nowhere near any contact whatsoever. If there was a mistake to be had, it would have been on his part in a wall because nobody... I mean, absolutely nobody could touch Jared Brooks, much like we saw from C.J. Greaves yesterday in the Pro Lights. It was Jared Brooks' turn today. Wow. I mean, it's uh, the top three. Um, let's see. Going well, look all the way back. And we have a tie in the points championship, too, because if 
If Jarrett was third yesterday, a first today, you have C.J. Greaves third and first. For the the uh, interviews, and man, what a race, huh? Yeah, it, it was a flip-flop from yesterday. I, Jarrett Brooks was absolutely unstoppable. You made the point, and for those of you watching around the world and here on site, that he wouldn't have a body panel left on his truck, and <laughs> absolutely no one could touch him. That's the only reason. It wasn't from him uh, not pushing, because... He had a day as we saw through the onboard, and CJ was trying to make that pass the entire time on hard, but just wasn't able to quite pull it off. Yeah, well, it was really great to see him trying different lines. This line didn't work. Next lap, he tried another line. That Whoa. didn't work. And I thought right here, as he was swapping ends with Kyle Hart, I thought for sure that might be the chance that CJ had and uh, couldn't make it stick. And you see the seven working his way in there. Keegan Kincaid, we have the... The yellow flag waving with the checkered flag. Is that that was at the end, I guess? Or yeah, did we, we have somebody down maybe at the end? I guess they, they yeah, showed Sean the yellow. Morris that was on his side right on oh, the last lap. Right yeah. at the problem just ahead. So that's what happened in Pro Light. It's our first race of three today. Pro Light, Pro 2, and Pro 4. We want to make sure everybody knows that. Do not go away. We have a victory celebration in just a moment. They have the NBC Sports Network crew. Christy Lee is going to do the interview. We're going to have to lay out here in just a moment, but I'd like to thank everybody for coming out for Torque the Off-Road Championship presented by Amsoil. A great way to kick off the day. We have the podium celebration here in just a moment. But again, stick with us. Torque the Off-Road Championship presented by Amsoil. First race of the day, Jarrett Brooks takes the win. Hey guys, we just watched what was one of the craziest pro light races out here in the duel in the desert, and I have some of the coolest people to talk to, our pro light podium finishers. So I'm going to start with our third place finisher, CJ Greaves. CJ, you came home with a win yesterday. Today, just as much action going on, but I want to talk to you about those final few laps with Keegan Kincaid. Talk, talk to me a little bit about that battle. Yeah, you know, with the inversion yesterday, we started six today, and we just started working our way forward. And at the halfway, we were in third, and we were doing everything we can to try to get around Kyle. But he ran a good race, and Jared was just checking out on us. So it is what it is, and we're going to come out of here ties with the points, and we're just going to keep moving forward. All right, and anyone you'd like to thank for helping you get up here today? Um, all my family, our crew, Monster, Toyota, Maxxis, Magnaflow, Fox Shocks, Potawatomi, Method, Team Associated, everyone that helps us out, Amsoil, Torque, all you guys for coming out here. Thanks a lot. All right, give it up for your third Kyle place finisher, Hart, CJ Greaves. And we're going to move on over to our second place finisher, Kyle Hart. Kyle, we've seen your dad out here. Obviously, this is a family sport for you. But let's talk about yourself out there. You are kicking it. You're on fire. You're one of the young guns out here. How does it feel to be out there so young? Oh, it's always great, especially to be racing with these guys. I mean, CJ was putting, it, putting pressure on me the whole time, and it's just battling to the end. I mean, Jarrett was kind of just checking out from us everywhere, but... I'm glad to be able to hang on to the second, and just thanks to everyone that gets here, gets me here, my mom, my dad, my whole family, all my friends and family that stays behind me, Ready Lift, Maxis, Amsoil, Duncan, just everyone that helps me, thank you. All right, well, give it up a big congratulations Go for Kyle Hart. And moving on to our top finisher up here, Jarrett Brooks. Jarrett, you're also one of these young guns out here, 16 years old, but what's most important out in that